Wake up, wake up, sleepyheads! You guys really slept in late. Come on, you're gonna be late for trick-or-treating. We've got your costumes ready and your candy baskets. Uh, just a couple more minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute, do that trick-or-treat? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh, ow! Be careful, silly. Come on, I got your costume ready. Come on, wake up, Dusk. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, why do I have to wake up? It's trick-or-treating time. You've been waiting for Halloween this whole month. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up. Oh no, I didn't miss trick-or-treating, did I? Ow, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, okay, I'll help you out. The Widow Sisters are still asleep. You need to wake them up too. I'm gonna get ready. <laughs> me too, wait for me. Come on, little Dawn, little Dusk, wake up. It's time to go trick-or-treating. Oh, trick-or-treating, yay. Oh, I'm up, I'm up, woo. Whoa, be careful, don't jump off the bed. It's a trick-or-treat, I'm up, woo-hoo. Do you have my Cinderella costume ready? And, and what about my costume? I have the Cinderella costume, but, oh, wait a minute. I don't remember getting Little Dust's costume. Oh no, how could I have forgotten? She wanted to be a mummy and I forgot to pick her up a mummy costume. Oh no, worst big sister of the year goes to me. But, 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 but you didn't get my costume? Uh-oh. It's okay, don't worry, we'll, we'll think of something. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> LOL sisters are going trick-or-treating. How about we help them get their costumes together? I'm ready. I'm Dracula for Halloween. There's my candy basket. You only have one. No, I have more. Here, here's yours. Yay, I got a ghost candy basket. <laughs> I've got my witch costume on, but I don't know where my hat is and my boom and my other stuff. Dawn is right. To be a witch, she's going to need a witch's hat, and we have one just for her. Oh, I like it. I feel witchy and Halloween-y. But I'm missing one more thing. Oh, that's right. She is missing something. It's her special witch's broomstick. And she's got her candy basket. Now she is ready to go trick-or-treating. But, but, but what about me? What about my costume? Uh... Hang on, hang on. We've got something for you. Don't cry just yet. For Little Dusk, we're going to take some white Play-Doh and we're going to make her a mummy costume. Just take a bit of Play-Doh, roll it out so that we have a long snaky piece. And once we've got it rolled out, we're going to take Little Dusk and wrap it around, all around and around. And we're going to keep doing that until we've mummified her. Oh, okay, okay, I'm happy now. Okay, let's do it. Take a little bit more. Roll it out. And wrap it around. We want her eyes to show a little bit through. We're gonna need another piece. Here's another piece. We wanna kinda have it overlapping so it looks like it's bandages. And some more overlapping. And more pieces on her head. Just keep on wrapping and wrapping until we have very little of her showing through. Now we're gonna work on her body and just keep on wrapping around her body with the white Play-Doh. And she's looking so cute. Now with the toothpick, I'm gonna add some more details to the bandages, make them look more bandagey. And now 
now she's looking like a cute little mummy. Yay, I bought my costume. Oh, your costume looks really spooky and good, Widow Dusk. Yeah, see, there was no need to worry. You have a costume after all, and it looks really nice and really spooky. Um, don't forget about me. I love your costume, Widow Dusk. But where's my Cinderella costume? Little Dawn wanted to dress up as Cinderella, so we have a nice Cinderella dress for her. One arm in. Let's get her other arm in. Oh, nice. She's looking really cute. But she's missing one more thing. And that is her crown. Every princess needs her crown. Yeah, they sure do. I really love my dress. <laughs> it's perfect for Halloween. Maybe next year I'll be something spooky, like a, like a vampire or a witch or a mummy. But this year I want to be a princess. Wow, your dress looks really cool. Sorry, I can't talk through the wraps really well. Thanks, Widow Dusk. Okay, where's our trick or treat baskets? Oh, right. Let me get your baskets. I'll be right back. Okay, we've got a pumpkin Halloween basket and a ghost Halloween basket. I want the pumpkin Halloween basket. Well, I want a pumpkin Halloween basket, too. Well, I think I might have an extra Halloween basket. Let me check. You are one very lucky little mummy because I have an extra pumpkin basket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love spooky pumpkin baskets. Now we can be twinsies. Yeah, yeah. Can we go trick-or-treating now? Let's go, let's go before it's too late and all the good candy's all gone. Oh, I already know where I want to go. The neighbor next door's house. She always gives the best Halloween candy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go. All right, you guys remember what to do, right? You go up to the door, ring the doorbell, and you say trick-or-treat. And no tricks from both of you. We got it, we got it. All right, you ready to do this? Okay, okay, come on, let's get our baskets. Oh, hey, girls. Trick or treat, Twilight Sparkle. Oh, wow, I see a witch, a vampire, a mummy, and a princess. I love it. What are you, Twilight Sparkle? I'm a wizard. Let me see what I have for you guys. Here we go. I've got lots of treats for all of you. Here's a treat for you. And for the witchy, the spooky vampire, and the princess. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yummy. Have a safe and happy Halloween. We will. Thanks, Twilight Sparkle. So where are we off to next? Now I want to get lots and lots of candy. So, um, I have to go party. Oh, okay. Well, our next place has a potty and candy. So let's go trick-or-treating there. Whoa, the mall? No way! They give the biggest candies out. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Oh, Big Sister Dawn, can you hold my broom? Sure, that's my job, of course. <laughs> you should have been a witch for Halloween, too. I'm coming, too. Wait for me, guys. Oh, hey, girls. I love your costumes. Trick-or-treat, Feral Babe. Yeah, yeah, trick or treat, please. Oh, do I have some special trick or treat candies for you? Here they are. There are so many lollipops, and you can choose. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I choose this lollipop. That's a very special one, and it's all yours. Yay. Now I have so many candies. Mm, I'll take the one with the star. Thank you, Fairy Babe. You are most certainly welcome, and I love your costume, by the way. Thanks. An extra addition to my collection. Ooh, lollipops are the best. They show all. Take your pick. Well, I guess I choose the purple one. And I choose the hot one. Thanks, Farewell Babe. Happy Halloween. Oh, no problem. You guys have a happy Halloween, too. All right, girls. I think we wrapped things up. What do you say? <sighs> I'm getting tired. And these wraps are getting itchy. Can we go home? Boy, what a night, what a night. You can really get exhausted walking all those places for Halloween. I know. Now it's time for you to change back into your pajamas. Oh, okay. I really like my costume. Me too. I wish I could keep it on a little longer, but it's just a little too itchy. Yeah, tonight was fun. Thanks, big sisters. I'm going to change into my pajamas. Me too. Good night, girls. No eating your candy until the morning. Good night. No, we won't eat it until the morning. Okay, bye-bye. Nighty night. Sweep tight. Let the bed bugs bite. Uh, I mean, don't let the bed bugs bite. The girls had a fun, safe Halloween with their big sisters. And 
And they got lots of treats too. Let me know in the comment section what you're going to be for Halloween. I hope you have a fun and safe Halloween. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Are they really still asleep? Not for long. Wakey wakey! It's time for Halloween! Ah! But what? Well, I didn't do it! Silly, you didn't do anything! We're trying to wake you up because it's time to get ready to go trick or treating! Well, at least by the time you and Spice get ready, it's gonna be time to go trick or treating! Yeah, you guys really gotta get a move on it if you wanna get to the houses with the best candy! And is Spice really asleep through my screaming? <sighs> Spice! Spice! Halloween's over! You didn't get to go trick-or-treating! Wait, what? No! How could you let me miss Halloween? <laughs> just kidding! It's just the start! How about you guys get ready now? Oh, well that wasn't very nice! Yay! This is Halloween! This is Halloween! I can't wait to get dressed in my really cool costume! You did get it, didn't you? Of course I got it. Now hurry up, get dressed. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Oh, I can't see. Okay, I'm off to get dressed. Hey, wait for me. Ugh. I'm coming too. Q. 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 Oh, little sisters. Time to get up for Halloween. Do it, Halloween. Well, a trick or treat and count me in. Well, boy, oh boy, this is going to be the best Halloween ever. Yeah, but this time can we go to more houses? Last time we only went to like one. Or maybe two. Okay, okay, hurry up and get dressed and then we'll decide. Yeah, depending on how tired you guys are, we can go to as many homes as you want. Yay, whoop de doo <laughs> I'm gonna beat you all. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. The LOL dolls are going trick or treating with their big sisters today. Well, here I am. Can you guess what? I'm gonna be, except I couldn't find my headpiece, big sister. Oh, I know. Maybe we can help with that. Here she goes. The final touch to her costume. Did you guys guess it? Ha <laughs> ha! It's a black. It's a black kitty cat. <laughs> Wait, let me do one more twirl since the first one was messed up. Woo! Check out my costume. Mm hmm Anywho, where's my trick or treating candy basket? Oh, right. Let me go get that for you. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I hope you got me a really good one. Okay, I've got a pumpkin and a ghost. I'm actually really proud of myself. So, which one do you want to take? Are you kidding me? I'm a kitty cat. Calm down, Spice. Pumpkins and ghosts are perfect for Halloween. But, 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 I wanted the kitty cat one. All right, hang on, be patient. Let me go see what I have in the basement. Well, you're never gonna believe it. I have a kitty cat basket. Oh, wow, yay, yay, yay. Best Halloween ever. I, I match everything. This is gonna be an awesome trick or treat night. I just know it. I'm gonna get a lot of amazing candies. I'm ready. Can you guys guess what I am for Halloween? Take a look. <laughs> I'm a skeleton. Except I'm missing something. Big sister sugar, do you know where my mask is at? Uh-oh. Mask? I lost the mask. What was that? Nothing. No need to worry. I need to find that mask. Oh, hang on a minute. Why? You have my mask? Yep, I've got a perfect mask for your costume. Oh, okay. Here it goes. And it matches perfectly with her costume. Oh boy, yay, my costume is complete. And guess what? I grow in the dark. So you can really see me at night and it's super safe. Whoa, mega cool costume. I thought you were going to be like an angel or something. <laughs> no, today is Halloween, so I want to be something spooky. Boo, oh, you scared me. <laughs> oh, you found your mask. That gets rid of one temper tantrum, but I found something else. It looks like this belongs to you, Spice. Oh, that's right. It's my collar. Spice forgot to wear her kitty collar. Now she looks like a true kitty cat. Yeah, a true black cat. Ooh, spooky, spooky black cat. Meow. <laughs> 
And I've also got your trick-or-treating baskets. Orange pumpkin or skull. Oh, I want to go for the skull. I think it will match perfectly. Wait, don't forget about us. Um, I couldn't wear my costume. It was a little hard. Well, what did you want to be? I wanted to be a witchy. Right on, Little Sugar chose a classic Halloween look. Let's get her witch's dress on. And no witch outfit is complete without a witch's hat. Yay. Can I get help wearing my costume too? I want it to be a ghost. Of course, we've got the perfect costume for her. Let's get her ghost costume on. Put her little head through. And there's some room for her arms. She has just enough room to see through. Yay, this is perfect. And we've got a ghost basket for you. Yay, it matches my costume. Um, do you have a witchy one for me? And a witch candy basket for our little witch. whoop de doo Okay, we're all ready. Can we go trick-or-treating now? Yeah, we don't want it to be really super late. Ooh, it's time for trick-or-treating. Remember the rules and follow us big sisters. All right, we're at the first house. Check out the really cool decorations. Whoa, they probably have the yummiest candies ever. Yeah, just look at all those spiders. They look so real. All right, all right, we're coming. Whoa, what's this? I brought the little sisters train in case they got tired of walking and carrying their baskets. So we get a train ride and we get to go trick or treating. Okay, girls, you know what to do. Ring the doorbell, say trick or treat, grab your candy, and we're headed on to the next house. Yeah, 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 we got it. Come on, Spice, let's go. Wait for us. Okay, I'm gonna ring the doorbell. Oh, hello, Sugar. Hello, Spice. Oh, and little sisters. Happy Halloween. Oh, hey, Candace Cutie. Hey, Candace Cutie. Um, what are you supposed to be? Well, I'm supposed to be a witch. <laughs> you like my witch's laugh? <laughs> I've been working on it for a while. Oh, hello there. Well, I see a fellow witchy. Hello. Well, boy, do I have some special treats for you. But what's the magic word? Treat or treat. treat. Excellent. A treat for you. A treat for you. A treat for my witchy. And a treat for my little ghost. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Next place up is Vampirina's house. Yeah, yeah. We get to see her and we get to go trick or waiting. I'll beat you to the door. <laughs> oh no, no fail. You got a head start. Okay, it's my turn now to knock on the door. Okay, okay. I'm so excited. Trick or treat. Hi, Vampirina, trick or treat. Oh, hey, sugar. Hey, Spice. Happy Halloween. Hi, little sisters. Oh, I love the Halloween costumes. Here, let me get the Halloween candy. Oh boy, do I have the best treats for you. I made sure to get the yummiest Halloween candy for my human friends this year. Oh yay! Here's a lollipop for the kitty cat. And a star lollipop for my skeleton friend. Some special candy for my ghost friend. And a delicious green candy for my witch friend. Happy Halloween! Bye Vampirina, thanks! Yeah, thanks! Whoa, this next place really went all out on the Halloween decorations. Yeah, look at that huge old spider! Spidal! I don't like big spiders! There's no need to be scared, it's just decorations! It's a fake spider! Yeah, just pretend Halloween decorations! Okay, here we go! <laughs> okay, I think she's coming, I think she's coming! Oh, do I see some special little ones in some really spooky Halloween costumes? Twinkle Sweet! I have something you're gonna love, it's my most favorite treat! A treat for you? A treat for you? Oh, I love the skeleton costume. A treat for you? Oh, and I love your costume too. I have a lot of witch friends. A treat for you. Um... Ew. Whoa, is, is that a... Ew. Maggot! Gummy maggot, silly. I'm gonna give you real maggots. I know you humans don't eat that stuff. Even though I love the real stuff. Phew. Yeah, a big phew. Thank you, Mavis. Happy Halloween. You are most certainly welcome. Happy Halloween! Yay, I love gummies. <sighs> I'm feeling really tired. Whoa, here's another spooky house. I love how they decorated it. <sighs> I'm getting tired. The little sisters have the train to widen, but me and Sugar have been walking. Yeah, we'll just go this one last house and then we'll call it a night. Alright, sounds good to me. Whoa! 
Oh, hey, Scooby. Whoa. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Oh, oh where's the sugar? That was spicy. Sugar. <laughs> Thanks, Scooby. Oh, gosh. No, it's just me. Where's your spice? Oh, okay. That was the best Halloween ever. Just look at all the candies I've got. Yeah, me too. Oh, but I'm really tired. Okay, thanks, sisters. I'm going to change my clothes now. Wear my pajamas. Me too. I'm tired. Me three. Oh, wait for me. Me four. Okay, you're all tucked in? Yeah. Nighty night. Peace and love. Good night. Good night, big sisters. Night night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. We won't. Good night. Well, it's the end of our show. Sugar and Spice and the little sisters are asleep after an awesome night trick-or-treating and getting a whole bunch of candies. Let me know in the comments section who was your favorite costume. And of course, let me know in the comments section what you're going to be for Halloween. Have a spooky fun Halloween and until next time, I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. Oh, how come we don't have that many classmates? It's only me and Heartbreaker. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. It's Halloween at the LOL school. And teacher It Baby has a surprise for her students. Oh boy. Well, guess what? I have a surprise for you two. A surprise? What is it? What is it? Do you have a Halloween costumes? I do have your Halloween costumes, but it's another surprise. Oh, please, 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 can you tell us? Yeah, I can't wait. Well, since it's all Hallow's Eve and I love Halloween so much, I will tell you what right now. You're getting new classmates. What? Yay! Yay! Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me five. I would love to have new classmates. Yeah, that way we don't have to play all by ourselves at recess. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, boy. Here they come. Now be prepared, students. Things are a little bit different because it's Halloween. So don't be scared if anything unusual happens. Ooh, this is so exciting. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. I'm a big kid. Yeah, me too. Me too. Double, double, toil and trouble. Scale of a dragon, tooth of a wolf. Mm, I forgot the rest of the words. Bibbity bobbity boo. Kick me out. I've turned into Katya Spelling from the Super Monsters. <laughs> Anywho, I brought some new classmates. Whoa, Sleeping BB just turned into Katya Spelling and she brought the Gerbas. Plus, I see a whole bunch of new classmates. Let's have Sleeping BB Katya park the Gerbas. The Gerbas comes with its own sound effects. Spooky, spooky for Halloween. I think that's a sign that the Gerbas is ready to drop off our new LOL classmates. Let's open the Gerbas up. And here are our new LOL students. They're series four wave two little sisters. And we've got three. Hello, Teacher It Baby. Whoa, hello, Sweeping Baby. You've transformed into a witch today. Yep, I'm Katya Spelling from the Super Monsters. I've dropped off the new classmates. Hmm, how come you're not in your Halloween costumes? Oh, we will be in just a little bit. We were just waiting for our new classmates. Anywho, toodles, happy Halloween. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah, did you see her really cool witch's hat? And the girl bus. That is really spooky fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, am I excited for the new students and Halloween. We have to get our class ready. There's nothing out yet. I was so excited waiting for the students that I didn't get anything ready. So let's get on in. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't know where everything's at. 
What did I do with it? Oh no. Oh no, the kids are gonna be in the class and the new students are gonna think I'm a teaching failure. I still want it to be really nice and Halloween-y and, and, and all perfect for them. Well, maybe we can help. Oh, I would really love that. Okay, I'm gonna go work for this stuff. Okay, let's see. A classroom needs some desks. Let's get one desk in there. Here's desk number two. Number three, and number four. Now since there are going to be five students, we're gonna need one more desk, so a very special student gets to sit in the front. Let's make some room for this fifth desk. And now all of the students can have a very nice view of the board. Now up here is where we can put the sinks so all of the students can wash their hands and stay nice and clean to prevent those germs from spreading. We can have some toys up here like Ring Toss and Duck's Family. We can also put a fun toy car that the LOLs can ride in. So that'll be their play area. Here is where their cubbies are at. They can store their musical instruments. There's plenty of space for more. And they can also store some of their toys. Here are some picture books for reading time. We've got a book about beach balls. And we've also got a story time classic, An Ugly Duckling. And the classroom is all ready. Yay! I'm gonna sit at my desk and be on my best behavior. Me too. I can't wait for costume time. Oh, wonderful. You are in your seats. Okay, I think I'm ready for my new students. All right, student number one. Let's see which new LOL sister this is. It could be a little brother or a little sister. And our secret message is Sweetheart. Let's keep going. We've got a blue ball, and you guys know last time we opened the blue ball, we had a little brother on the inside. Here we go with our very first bag. And we've got a handbag in here. What about here? Here are some boots. Oh, and the chain to our ball. So one of the bags in each of the balls is gonna be the chain to our ball, and we're just gonna skip it just to get to the fun part. Here is our new classmate. Who's it gonna be? It's Little Scribbles from the art club. All right, who's gonna be our next classmate? The secret clue is Fashion Fan. Our very last layer. Here is the first accessory. We've got a cell phone and this time it's kind of different. Of course the charge is almost out on this cell phone too and it's cracked, but on the cover I think it might be a little SPF cutie. Here goes our next bag. It feels like a handbag. Yep, it's a really cool handbag. Let's see who our little sister was. Oh, it was her right on the screensaver of the cell phone. It's not little SPF cutie. It's actually little sweet princess from the glam club. And our very last student. The secret message is pet lover. This little secret message used to be puppy love, but they changed it and now it's pet lover. Here's the first accessory. We've got sunglasses. What about in here? Ooh, we've got a slimy bag. So who is our new classmate? We shall soon find out. Whoa, it's Little Batty from the Storybook Club. So they're not a part of the Opposites Club, but we've got Little Goody and Little Batty in the Storybook Club. Time to see each of our little new classmates' color changes. Dunk them all in the water, whoa! 
I love these color changes. Let's take a look at Little Sweet Princess. She is pink all over, which is totally fitting of her. She's got a pink bow, a little pink top, pink gloves, and pink boots. Let's see if there's anything on her diaper. Of course, a bow. How about little scribbles? She's got scribbles all over her diaper and a black top. Plus, yep, scribbles on the back and black boots and her hair turns all pink. Now, what about little Batty? She's got a really cool look to her. She's got blue eye makeup. She's got black suspenders, black and white diaper, black boots, and little black wristbands. Plus, her entire head is all black now. Wow, those are some really cool color changes. Yeah, we have new classmates and now it's costume time. Oh, yes, you are very right. Welcome, welcome all students to my class. Today is Halloween and we're having a very special Halloween celebration. So, Heartbreaker, let's start off with you. What do you want to be for Halloween? I want to be a vampire. We can definitely help out with that. Let's get her vampire cape on. Let's bring it around. And we've got our little vampire. Yay. I'm gonna walk around and say blah 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 to everyone. Blah blah blah. Oh silly silly heartbreaker. Okay unicorn, what do you want to be for Halloween? Well, I want to be an alicorn. Half pegasus, half unicorn. For little unicorn's pegasus wings, I have just the thing. Here she is with her lovely pegasus wings. And she's gonna need a unicorn horn. Ooh, she looks like a really pretty alicorn. She is ready for trick-or-treating. Okay, I've always wanted to be a alicorn. Cute costume. Thanks. I wanna be a witchy. Okay, little baddie wants to be a witch. Let's get a festive outfit on her. She's kind of starting to look like a pumpkin, but she's really got those Halloween colors going. We don't want to forget her witch hat. Yay. Okay, little sweet princess, what do you want to be? Well, since I'm already a princess, I want to be Rapunzel. That's perfect because we've got a Rapunzel dress right for her. Make sure her shoulder straps are on. And there she goes. She looks so adorable. Yay, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, wet down your hairs. I can't, I have mine in a bow. And the last little student is Little Scribbles. Well, I want to be a ghost. Ooh, very festive halloween -y choice. And we've got just the thing. Let's get this through her head. Make sure it fits right. Oh no, it might not fit her right but let's get her little hands through. There you go, she's peeking just a little bit through, and she is a happy little ghost. Boo! <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost. Ooh. Um, Miss Eight Baby, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Well, I'm gonna be a spooky, spooky bat. Excellent choice. We've got some bat wings for Miss It Baby. Here she goes with her bat wings. And the bat makes the sound ee, 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 all through the Halloween night. Now is the time for the special surprise. You kids are not going trick or treating during school, right? But you can go trunk or treating. <laughs> wow, trunk or treating? Whoa, what is that? I've never been trunk or treating before. Me, evil. Well, let me show you. Oh, go, boss. <laughs> You called? Come on, kiddos. Line up for your trunk or treating palooza. Oh, yeah, let me get your candy baskets. Wow, I never gone trunk or treating before. What do we do? Well, instead of going to people's doors and trick or treating, your friends and family, like your school, put the candy in their trunk and then you take the candy from the trunks to go trunk or treating. Of course, with a grown up. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to go to Uncle Tweeting. Me too. Okay, so here are your baskets. 
pumpkins? Who wants the pumpkins and who wants the ghosties? I want to go since I'm a ghost. Okay, here goes the ghost trick-or-treating basket. I'll take a ghost one too. Alright, here's one more ghost one for you. And the rest of you can have pumpkins. Wow, yay, I love pumpkins. Filled with halloween -y. Me too! Chunk or treat! Give me something sweet to eat! Well, it's the end of our show! I hope you guys enjoyed going trunk or treating with our new little LOL classmates. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever gone trunk or treating before. And also, let me know which one of the costumes was your most absolute favorite. Have a super fun, safe Halloween, and until next time, I hope to see you again soon! Bye for now! Poppy, what's the best thing about Halloween? Um, just about everything. The candy, the spooky decorations. You got the spooky part right. But another super cool thing about Halloween is doing a Halloween slime challenge. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. I say let's do it. Okay, kids at home, it's up to you guys to vote in the end who has the best Halloween slime. Your votes will be based on best slime and best star design. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have the best slime. Well, I think I'm going to have the best slime, but we won't know until the end. So hang tight and let's start this slime challenge. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. We're back with the slime challenge. And it's not just any slime challenge. It's a Halloween slime challenge. So it should be extra spooky and extra fun. So we're gonna do one jar for Vampirina and we're gonna do another jar for Poppy. So you guys vote in the end who has the most spooky looking Halloween slime and jar. First, let's start off by painting the top of our jars. This is gonna be Vampirina's jar. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use this light magenta color for the top of her jar. Now it's time for Poppy's jar. I'm thinking about doing an orange color for Poppy's. So we're going to use this really cool orange color called Jack-O-Lantern, which is perfect for Halloween. Alright, so now our jars are painted, we're definitely going to have to go back later once the first layer is dry and add a second layer. But in the meantime, we're going to get to the super fun part, and that's making their slime. Alright, now you guys know I like to get a little crazy with my slimes, so they're not going to be one colored slimes, they're going to be two colored slimes. We're going to do two colors for Vampirina and two colors for Poppy. Let's add some clear Elmer's glue for Vampirina's first color. And I'm going to add some Sprinkletastic glitter glue for some pink slime. Now for Vampirina's first slime, I actually want to do a black color. I'm gonna add one drop and see how that works. If it's not as dark as I want it, then I'll go ahead and add more. So let's mix that bit in. I don't want it too dark. I kinda want it to be a little see-through. Ooh, it's kinda looking like a dark purple color, isn't it? I don't know guys, I'm really liking this color. Maybe I'll just keep it that way. Now I'm gonna go in with some Halloween confetti. We have a lot of stuff in here. We have some jack-o'-lanterns, spiders, and a whole bunch of Halloween colored circle confetti. I think we even have some stars in there, yep. All right, I'm going in with it. Ooh, those are huge. We'll mix it in our slime and see how it works out. It's all trial and error, kiddos. Trial and error. I was kind of worried that the confetti was going to be too big, but I'm liking how it's looking in there. That is awesome. That looks like some really cool bubbling witch's brew. Now we're going to go in with our activator, which is just some liquid starch. Mix that on up, and like magic, our glue starts to become slime. And I think we're just about ready to start smushing this with our hands. Okay, so we're right where we want to be with our slime. 
it is on the thicker side, it's kind of more like putty, but putty doesn't have stretch and our slime does. I'm really liking the Halloween confetti in there. That is looking so cool. And I love the color it turned out. It's not black at all. I was thinking about going with black, but it's like a really pretty dark, dark purple. Perfect color for Halloween. Moving on to Vampirina's next colored slime. This is pretty easy. We have all of our glitter in there and we actually have a bit of color too. And that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the pink glittery slime. Just add a little bit of liquid starch and start mixing. Our slime is coming together really nice. I actually love the texture of this pink glittery slime. It was really sticky at first and it's still a little sticky right now, but the more you knead it and smush it together, it becomes the perfect slime consistency. And check out the glitter. I love the glitter in this glue. We have a little bit of tinsel glitter, which is the longer pieces of glitter. And we have some extra fine glitter in there too. That is super awesome looking. Oh, and we're getting the snap, crackle, and pop. That's what you want in perfect slime. All right, it's time to move on to poppy slime. For poppy slime, we're going in with some more clear glue. And also some pink glitter glue. Now for her clear glue, I'm gonna go in with a bit of orange food coloring and see how that turns out. If we need more, we'll just add more. Oh, nice, I'm actually really liking that color. So we won't add any more than this because I really like the clearish orangey look. It kind of reminds me of Blobby from Hotel Transylvania because he's kind of like jello looking, but also see-through. So that's exactly what I want. Now, of course, we're gonna stay festive and add some more of that Halloween confetti to poppy slime. Let's mix it on in. And now we can add our liquid starch. This is our slime activator. Oh, I love this orange and the Halloween confetti. You can see all of the things in there, the spiders, the stars, the jack-o'-lanterns. It's perfect for any Halloween fanatic, which is me. Has the perfect stretch, the perfect consistency, and I'm loving the color. It's like a giant blobby Halloween tree. Oh, and check out that snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, I gotta stop playing with the slime. It's so addicting. All right, so for Poppy's pink slime, it's pretty much the same. We just add our liquid starch, mix it on in. Okay, so now we're at the consistency we want. It's nice and stretchy. And we get a little bit of crackling and popping. I think we're about ready to move on to the next fun part, and that is designing our slime jars. <laughs> All right, first I'm gonna start with Vampirina slime. We're gonna get the slime in the jar, and then we're gonna start decorating. All right, we got Vampirina slime jar together. Now let's move on to the designing part. I'm gonna use some gemstones to make her jar look extra sparkly. And you know what I think will make this jar extra Halloweeny and spooky? 
a spider right on top of Vampirina's jar. I'm gonna get it on there using some hot glue. Remember, whenever you're using hot glue, be sure to get the help of a grown-up because this stuff can be super hot and I don't want you guys burning yourself. Oh, check out how creepy that spider looks on there. Next, I'm gonna get some purple gem stickers on there and guess what we're gonna make. If you guessed bats, that is right. I'm gonna use some purple puffy paint to draw the wings. Ooh, now we got some spooky Vampirina bats on there. Now that we got Vampirina's jar done, it's time to move on to Poppy's. All right, so our slime's in there, looking nice and spooky. Let's get her top back on. I think I'm gonna add a creepy black spider to her jar as well. Let's hot glue that on there again. We want it to be a fair spooky Halloween slime challenge, right? I also wanna go in there with some pink gem stickers. That'll make Poppy slime jar really stand out. Now I'm gonna go in and add some of these really cool looking Halloween confetti pumpkins. We're done with both of the slimes and jars. Whoa, I love my slime jar. It looks really spooky and Halloween-y. And I love my bat's slime jar and everything. It looks really spooky and I love spooky. So what do you guys think? Do you think my slime and slime jar wins the Halloween slime challenge? If you do, vote Vampirina. Well, I think my slime is really spooky and Halloween-tastic. If you guys think my slime and slime jar is the best Halloween slime ever, be sure to vote Poppy. Well, it's the end of the video and you guys heard Poppy and Vampirina. Vote in the comment section who you think won the Halloween slime challenge. If you enjoyed making this Halloween slime with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up for more Halloween slime challenges. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. So I got the Halloween decorations up. Yeah, the trick-or-treaters are gonna be so spooked out. Okay, so we're gonna leave the candy out, but we have to wait for the LOL babies to come before we go trick-or-treating. They should be here any minute. Oh, that must be them. Hi, Troublemaker, Burr Baby, and Cherry. You guys ready to go trick-or-treating with us? Hi, Alouette. Um, we have a little bit of a problem. We forgot our Halloween costumes. Yeah, my mommy forgot to pick me up one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so did mine. No worries, we can just make you some Halloween costumes. I have just the thing. Oh, oh, can I be Catboy? And I want to be Owet. Oh, and, and I want to be Gecko. Okay, that can be arranged. We can totally do that and get up just in time to go trick-or-treating. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Looks like the LOL babies don't have costumes for Halloween. So we're gonna help them make some costumes with some Play-Doh. Troublemaker said she wanted to be Catboy. So since she's already a kitty, I think it would be a perfect transformation. We're gonna easily make her a costume with some blue Play-Doh. Okay, so we got her ready to be turned into Catboy. We're going to start by rolling out some blue Play-Doh. I'm gonna cut off little pieces bit by bit for her Catboy mask. So we're gonna put this piece right on her nose. Here's another thin piece. And that'll be the bottom of her mask. And we're just gonna keep on cutting small pieces so that we can mold it into Catboy's mask later.
Okay, so now we've got the top part of her mask on. Since she's gonna be cat girl, we're gonna take a little bit of the top of her mask off so her ponytail shows through. And remember, when working with any sharp objects, be sure to get the help of a grown-up, or you could use a plastic knife to kind of help you with shaping your cat girl costume. Now I'm gonna take her cat ears and use those to be her cat girl ears. Oh, and another thing, if your Play-Doh is not sticking to your LOL doll, then you can just take a bit of water and a paintbrush and use the water as a kind of glue to have your Play-Doh stick better. And the really cool thing about this is it's not permanent, so you can remove all of your Play-Doh later in case you don't have a duplicate of that LOL doll. I'm going to go ahead and wrap some Play-Doh around those ears just to get it a little more like Cat Boys. Now we got her cat girl mask on, it's time to get her little cat bodysuit on. She's a little baby, so we're gonna go with a onesie. She's not gonna have any sleeves or pant legs. For the final step, we're gonna put some cat boy details onto her cat suit. I'm gonna be doing that using some paint. Troublemaker is now ready to go trick-or-treating. She's got her catboy suit on. We're gonna call her Cat Girl for Halloween. That's awesome, you look just like me. Except a really cute little baby version. I really could use extra help on the team. Maybe you should consider being a permanent part of the PJ Masks. Oh, that will be so cool. I would really like that. Oh, can it be my turn next? I really want to turn into Owlette for Halloween. Yep, it's Cherry's turn. Let's go ahead and change her into Owlette. This time around, we're using red Play-Doh to make Owlette's red owl costume. Let's take a bit out and roll it out for ourselves. Try to make it as thin as you can. We're gonna first start with her mask, just like Troublemaker. If your Play-Doh's looking a little smushy, you can use a smoothing tool, kind of like this one, or just your fingers and some water. Now it's time for her onesie. Let's not forget her cape. That'll cover her little butt. And the final touch to Cherry's Owlet Halloween costume is Owlet's sign on the front. And Cherry's now ready to go trick-or-treating. 
awesome. You look like the perfect owl girl. Come on, let's get your trick-or-treating bag ready so we can go. Yay, I want to go trick-or-treating. Everybody's ready. It's time for me to get ready. I don't want to be late or else all the good treats will be taken. She's right. It's now Bird Baby's turn to be transformed into Gecko. Okay, she's ready. Let's get her mask on now. And we're going to do that using some green Play-Doh. We're going to roll it out nice and thin like all the others. And then we're gonna use pieces of it to get everything together for Burr Baby. Now using some light green Play-Doh, we're going to add the details to Gecko's headpiece. Now it's time for her bodysuit. We've smoothed everything out with some water and now it's time to get Gecko sign on Burr Baby's bodysuit. And Burr Baby's finally ready to go trick-or-treating too. Whoa, check it out. It's like you're my little sister or something. I think it's an awesome Halloween costume. Let's go trick-or-treating. Oh, thank you, Gecko. We'll call you LOL Gecko. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's the PJ Masks and they're ready to go trick-or-treating together. Well, you could have fooled me. Those are the LOL babies. That's Troublemaker as Cat Girl, Cherry as Owlette, and Burr Baby as Gecko. Oh no, as if three weren't enough. I can't stand any more PJ Pests. I have to come up with some more plans to get rid of these PJ Pests. Now there's six. I have my work cut out for me. Well, it's the end of our show and the PJ Masks and the LOL Babies are ready to go trick-or-treating in style. If you guys want to see the LOL Babies turn into permanent additions to the PJ Masks, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to join the fun. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.